In today's session, you will learn how to approve timesheets. Within Timekeeper, supervisors can approve timesheets by using these two different methods. You can approve timesheets directly from the timesheet tab or approve timesheets directly from the summary page. We will explore both approval methods in this video. From your dashboard, navigate over to the hamburger icon. From the hamburger icon, select the attendance category. Lastly, select timesheet. From the timesheet page, you're able to apply different filters. Filters. Click on filters. Right now we're set up to view all employees. If you only wanted to see those timesheets that are at an open status, you can filter by employee who have timesheets at that status. If you wanted to filter by only those employees who have submitted the timesheet for the paper, you can do that as well. You can also filter by the various exceptions that your system has been configured. For today's demo, we want to see all timesheets. From this timesheet page, you're able to see all the employees that report directly to you. It is important that before you approve timesheets that you review each of your employees' timesheets. Please make sure that if you know that an employee normally works Monday through Friday, and if that employee normally works eight hours per day, please make sure that you validate that those hours look correct. If you know that your employees normally work 40 hours per week, please make sure that you validate those entries. Also make sure that you validate the timesheet summary. This is exactly what the employee is going to get paid for the pay period, so please make sure that that looks correct. Once you validated the information, made the appropriate corrections, then you can proceed and select the approve button. This will change the timesheet status to approved. After approving the previous timesheet, now go to the following employee, review his or her timesheet, make the appropriate corrections, and approve that timesheet. Proceed to the following employee, and so forth. Next, let's look at the second approval process. We're going to go into the hamburger icon. We're going to go to the attendance category, but this time we're going to go to the summary page. From the summary page, you will notice that you're able to filter by different statuses, also by different work groups. You will also notice that you're able to see grand total of the hours for all your employees. You're also able to see the timesheet status. From here, you're able to change status of timesheets by clicking on the timesheet status and selecting the drop down arrow. Once you're done changing the status of the timesheet, please remember to select the save button. Next, we're going to learn how to approve all employees on a page. 10 employees displayed on this page. I can simply can click on approve this page and it's going to approve everyone that is listed on this particular window. If your organization has exception rules set up, then it's only going to approve those timesheets that are eligible for the approval. However, if you have any employees with missing punches, the system will require for you to make the appropriate adjustments. And then once you've made those adjustments, then you can go through and approve the remaining timesheets. Once you have updated those timesheets with the missing punches, please make sure that you go back and approve the page. If your role is a supervisor within the system, then the timesheet status will reflect as approved. However, if you're a system administrator or payroll admin, you may be classified as payroll. So when you approve timesheets, they will be listed as being in the payroll staff. 